Hello, hi, welcome to a new video from a cold Cape Town in the middle of winter. It is the end of June and it's time for the mid hair book chicken tag. Hi, I'm Jacques and welcome to my new video. This is the third year that I'm participating in, in this tag. Um, last year, 2022, um, let me just say that this is the tag known as the Mid-Year Book Freakout Tag. Last year there was a whole issue about it, um, about the title being ableist, and it was supposed to have been changed to the, the Mid-Year Book Check-In Tag, or the Reading Check-In, the Mid-Year Reading Check-In Tag. Um, so this is what I'm naming it, because apparently the term is ableist, um, but this is essentially the same thing. Um, so if you're looking for the free card tag, this, this is it, but I'm calling it the check-in tag. So basically the point of this video is to just check in and to, uh, you know, uh, make sure that we are on track with our reading. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> just to make sure, um, you know, that, that, that we are on track. I do have to tell you that I've been in a slump for a while. Um, and it's hard right now. It's April, May, June, end of April. It's two months now. I've been trying. I've been trying. <laughs> Basically, the book tag is answering 13 questions uh, about books and about your reading habits and what you've enjoyed so far and, and what you thought about things. So... Let's get into it, shall we? So, question one is, what was your favourite book that you've read so far this year? And I can't answer that yet. These are <laughs> the six books, my six faves that I've read uh, so far, one for each month. And these are the favourites of the books that I've read in those months. So yeah, I highly recommend all these. <laughs> Question two asks about what was the best sequel that you've read so far this year. Now, I have to go with, look, I've read a couple of sequels, um, um, a full series. I've read two, three, four, and five of The Hitchhiker's Guide. I've read book three of The Dark Artifices and something else as well, but... I'm going to have to go with book two in the Witch Nuff series by Dion Lister. And that's whatever the title is. I forget it right now. So sorry, but it's awesome. Um, because we follow Lily, um, who finds out she's a witch. Um, and after the events of book one, um, she has relocated and has now has to start a new uh, life all over again get a business started and get comfortable with being a witch and it's actually very good i'm enjoying that series um i'm gonna get me book three soon i don't have the money but we'll see absolutely love it absolutely recommend it do go check it out then question three asks which new release so far, that you want to read, okay, um, uh, so far all of these, can you see, well, yeah, not, not that, but these three, so far, can you see, The Book of Eve, Cat, Black Handle Women, and Atalanta, um, those just the names, some of the few, I have, I have many more, I have many more, then question four wants to know, <laughs> Which book for the second half of the year am I most interested in? Which is my most anticipated book? Now, I don't do that. I don't look forward to books that are coming because I already have a lot <laughs> that I already have that I want to read, that I need to get to because, you know, time. Um, um, and I don't... I, I, I don't. Uh, if, if there's something that I really want that I see on, 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 on Facebook, on, I mean on Instagram or TikTok, not really TikTok, because TikTok is mostly romance, what was, and, and that's not 
see. These book talk sensations, by the way, they need a change of genre. You need to, you need to like expand, maybe. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so I, I, I'm not anticipating anything. Um, I've got a lot I'm looking forward to. I will be looking forward to more that's coming out, but I don't, I, I don't have anything right now. Sorry. Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> Um, question five wants to know what has been my biggest disappointment so far. Um, I'm gonna insert a graphic here. I don't know the author's name or fan, but it's a book called A New Life that I recently read for June in my Kindle app. And and I the story is good, absolutely good, and then it was fine, and all of a sudden they started calling the second character by something different. Uh, which led me to believe, like multiple times, like they didn't, you know, uh, a check, spell check it. They didn't highlight the word Jeremy and then, you know, replace it with a new character. So it felt to me that this might be something plagiarized. Um, and me, I'm normally a lenient reviewer, but I gave this a two stars. Um, I haven't written the review up yet, but... So that was a big disappointment, only for the fact that... To me, it felt like somebody else's story that they just overtyped. Not even doing a good job of it and just replacing maybe just the names. I don't know. Um, and then question six is the opposite. It wants to know what is the biggest surprise for me so far. And I honestly have to tell you, I have to go with uh, the Kenrick series book one, The Avaris by Wede Kabane. Um, which is a South African author, and I have videos up talking about this, this, so do go check that out, I will link up here, I mean, on the left, <laughs> sorry, so do go check this out, this is really, really good, um, and I can't wait to get into book two, thanks to the author for sending this to me. Yeah, and then question seven asks, um, what is a new author, a favorite new author for you, debut, uh, debut author for you? Now, um, there's Vela Kabane, I absolutely loved her book, um, and like I said, Dion Lister, because I absolutely love her series so far, um, and then I have to go with Margie Orford. Uh, thriller writer from South Africa. Mm -hmm. This is book one in this the, in her series, the the Claire Hart series, and it's called like Clockwork. And I have a review up, so I shall link that down below. And then moving on to question eight, I want to know what is your newest fictional crush? Now I've been <laughs> <coughs> sorry, reading some South African um, books. Um, and one of my more recent ones is this one. The Legacy is book one in the series by Melissa Delport, South African. This is dystopian. It's a spy thriller. Um, uh, yeah. And there's rebellion and there's super soldiers and sci-fi. So it's cool. Uh, but there's this guy inside here who is really, really hot and really, really sexy and he has this Southern drawl, y'all, and is I, I can't wait to get the book too, so that you know I can I can I can read more of him and see him again. His name is Reed, Reed R E E D, not not R E A D. <laughs> so question number nine wants to know who's my newest favorite character. And guys, Laszlo, 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 he's such a sweetheart. I need to get onto book two. I absolutely have to get onto book two because Cliffhanger, for those of you who haven't read this, I do recommend this. And I finally got to read it because I have a problem reading overhyped books, starting to get into it. It's just like... It stands there and it looks at me and I look at it and it looks at me and I look at it and it looks at me and I look at it and it's like 
I have to eventually force myself to start it. And then this was just amazing. And it just, it just melted like butter into my brain. It was glorious. I absolutely recommend book one in this duology, Strange the Dreamer by Lady Taylor. Do go check it out. Okay, guys, please. You know, it is winter. And it is, and it is very cold. Okay, and, and it's warmer with the air on the face. So I will be, I will be getting rid of this shortly because I'm attending the Penguin Media and Trade event for July to December 2023. This is my first one. It's by invitation only. I'm super blessed. I'm super happy. Uh, question 10 and 11. I'm going to do simultaneously because, you know, mm -hmm. question 10 wants to know which book made me cry and book 11, uh, question 11 wants to know which book made me happy. It's the same book. It's the same book, The Sun and the Star by Rick Riordan and Mark Oshiro. This is a standalone in the um, uh, Percy Jackson world in the Demigod Files or whatever. This is in there, uh, a part of it, but can be read as a standalone. I am such a sucker for a coming out story, and, and the two of these guys are just amazing. They made me cry, they made me laugh, and this book is just all around fun, and mythology makes me happy. I don't know why, mythology makes me happy. <laughs> so, mm, highly recommend this, middle grade, young adults fantasy, mythology, um, five stars. Go check it out. Done four, done four. <laughs> then <laughs> we go to question 12. And it wants to know, what is the most gorgeous book that you acquired so far this year, whether you bought it or received it? Um, I'm going to go with, I've got some four, I've got four of them. I've got some nice, nice covers now. This is an arc of Memphis by Tara M. Stringfellow and I got this at the last Tandem Collective Meetup. This was published last year but that's not the point. The point is look how gorgeous is that cover. I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. And then we have these three that I recently got from Jonathan Ball Publishers. Thank you. Those people are amazing. Go check them out. We have The Book of Eve by Meg Clothier. Pretty love, love, love. Then we've got Black Candle Women by Diane Marie Brown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And the one that I got recently, most recently, is Atalanta by Jennifer Saint. Um, and it's more mythology. Love, 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 love. Uh, and also we learn about the, the less known people in the Pantheon. So, uh, by the way, there's many versions of the story. Um, even though she's become an Argonaut, um, Jason didn't allow her in the one story on the boats. So she never did what she did. Because women bring bad luck is what they believe then. So that's one story. That's not that's not the story. But I'm just saying that's one part of that story. So this is so cool. This is very cool. Which book do you think is the most gorgeous book that you've got this year? Do let me know down in the comments below. Because I'd love to know. And last but not least, question 13. <laughs> wants to know, which books do I need to read before the end of the year? Now, all of them. Okay. I have a lot of books, like there, there's three there I need to read. I, I've still got a TV art. There's still a lot on my TV, on, on my review shop. All of them. There's nothing that I'm actually looking forward to, like I've said. They, well, what I have, I'm looking forward to reading. There are things that I have now, currently, that I am looking forward to reading some titles more than others. But I'm not anticipating anything in the future. I don't know what's going to be published from July to December. So I'm not looking forward to anything. However, if you ask me this question next week this time, <laughs> um, I might have a different opinion because like I said earlier, I will be 
finding out what Penguin Random House South Africa will be publishing July to December. Not necessarily just South African, but you know, Penguin Random House. So we'll see what they for the next three. So maybe I'll anticipate something there. You never know. I don't know. But like I said, I don't normally do that. And that's that for 13 questions. <laughs> And and that's how far we got. I do have to say, um, at the end of June, that I'm I'm trying everything to get out of my slump. Okay, I've been reading a bunch of short stories, like really short. Um, the Sun and the Star was my first book from Penguin, and that arrived, and I thought, okay, great, this is fantastic, and I read it nicely, and it's cool. And then, then I read God Killer because there's also another mythology, but I needed to read that for a different for another prompt as well. And I loved them, but it didn't drag me out of my slump the way I wanted it to, like I thought it would. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I still I'm still hesitant in picking up a book. I'm trying to read start. I'm trying to start reading She Gets the Girl by those two author ladies. <laughs> Someone Lippincott, Jennifer Lippincott. I don't know what her name is, Lippincott, and something five feet under authors. Um, so yeah. And that's where we are for the first half of 2023. If you have a video as well or, or a blog post that you'd like me to have a look at about the same tag whether you call it check-in or freak out, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll take the time to come and check that out because, you know, you know how I fared so far this year. I would like to know how you've been doing. So let me know and I'll check it out. And from, like I said, a winter in Cape Town, hence all the layers, the gloves, and everything and everything. <laughs> and, uh, mm -mm. Until next time.